children that have different abilities may think something is different about us because what my son mm-hmm. namely, can do with one hand, it takes us two hands to do. So let's turn that around. What does he think? He might think, oh, you guys are wimps. I can do that with one hand, but it takes you two. <laughs> he, when, when he was born and I was going through all this, my grandmother, who's now 98, she told me and it made me cry. She said, Melanie, there's nothing wrong with him. Something's wrong with you. And I was like, wow. <laughs> okay, granny, you told me. I'm, I'm going to take that and go with it. And again, it shut me up because I'm like, yeah, something was wrong with me because I I had the the forethought that all these things were going to be wrong with him. But he was he was showing showing up every day and it was not none of that. So he rides a motorcycle with one hand. He plays the guitar with one. He's a musician, self-taught musician. He plays the guitar. He bowls. He roller skates. He plays football. He played football in, in middle school and high school. He does everything. And because he has the determination to do it, it's done. I, you know, I used to cringe when he played football, but he 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 does whatever he wants. But he, in his eyes, I can do whatever I want. And when you tell him that he can't, he's going he's going to prove you wrong every time. And he's done that. Every so time. I, I I read something somewhere one time that said that um, the biggest limitation for children with special needs are the parents. It's not them. It's not them. And you know I. And parents can be, a, a, you know, limiting because we know, and I think, I don't think it's such a bad thing to this degree. I think we have it because we know what's out there in the world. They don't. We've seen it and we don't want them to experience those things. And we don't want them to experience discouragement and disparity. And so we tend to want to hold them a little closer or a little longer or to keep them from experiencing heartbreak. Uh, growing up. And so I think that's why we do it. I, I can really say for myself, that's why I've done it because, you know, I just, I had learned early to just be quiet and okay, here's our, if you, as long as you follow these parameters, we're good. One time from my dad's side of the family, um, she came to visit um, from the Dominican Republic and um, she had, she hadn't spent any time with me and, and my son. And um, one day I'm dealing with him and um, she, he was having a hard time with something and I was able to like, get him back to um his his um regular you know norm normal um and she pulls me to the side and i'm like on the verge of tears and she was like you know god picks special people to be the parents of children with special needs and girl let me tell you i was on the verge of tears when she said that i was bawling hysterical i was hysterical because it was like, you know, I'm thinking I'm a crappy mom because, like, you know, all the stuff that's going on. But, like, she was able to see the work that I was doing with my child. And, like, that, like, it was, like, it, like, illuminated something inside of me. And it was just, it was, it was, it was a lot.